Hey everyone, I am really excited today to walk you through a brand new feature called Generative Actions that is coming out today, October 11th. This is a new feature available within our world of generative AI inside of the Ada application. And today I'll walk you through a quick demo of how this unlocks so much more uh, potential within your chatbot. When it comes to support experiences with automation, there's typically two types of interactions that you can have with your customers. One, which is usually more simple, is on the FAQ side. And that's usually something like, how do I reset my password? Um, providing information around your own business policies and things like that. They're typically more scripted. However, on the other end of the spectrum are questions from the customer that require detailed, personalized information, either about them or their history with your business. Some of these examples can include looking up an order if you're an e-commerce company, or as I'll walk through in just a second, providing information on your customer's most recent flight booking and changing that reservation if they've made that request. That latter example typically makes up about 50% of customer inquiries, depending on your industry. And historically, that's been really challenging to build inside of a chatbot. It requires weeks of planning and multiple people with different technical backgrounds to figure out what the right scripted response should be, how to plan around different conversational states and account for various edge cases. Oftentimes due to the nature of human planning, a lot of edge cases get missed and a lot of opportunity to resolve a customer's problem with automation falls through the cracks. However, with generative AI, the way that we've implemented it inside of our application completely revolutionizes this. You no longer have to spend weeks planning out this flow and instead can build it in a matter of minutes. All you have to do is give Ada your information and the tools that you use to resolve different types of customer inquiries and our generative model can handle the rest. Let me show you what I mean. I'm on an example website for an airline called Air Atlantis. I have my bot deployed here and I'm gonna ask it uh, information about my upcoming flight. Okay, so the first question I'm gonna ask is around the status of my upcoming flight. Uh, can you check? What's gonna happen in the background here is my bot has information on my booking itinerary and the uh, status of my current flight. It's able to look that up in the system that I've configured in the back end here and provide me with real time updates on my most recent upcoming flight status. So as I can see, it's on time. It's gonna arrive at 1.04 PM, which is great. Uh, next, so I wanna get information on what I've actually booked because I booked it so long ago. Um, so I wanna know about my seat. Uh, and again here, the bot is able to go and get information on my most recent reservation and provide me with information on my seat. It looks like it's also able to identify that I'm eligible for an upgrade. Uh, so it's asking me if I wanna proceed, which I do. So I can say, yeah. And now again, on the back end, it's gonna process that request and make that change to my uh, seat reservation. So now I'm in a preferred row, which is excellent. That'll be a great flight. So this was a very natural sounding conversation. And I had about three different questions that I wanted support on and the bot was able to handle all of those personalized to me as the customer. Let me show you how easy this is to configure in our own application. So I'm gonna move over into our Ada app and this is our brand new generative actions landing page. You can see that I have three actions configured here. And what I mean by an action is a uh, system that is integrated into my third party tool. I can click into one of these to show you just how simple it is to configure. So all that you'll need to do is provide the bot with the name of the action and a description so the bot knows when to use this action under what circumstances. I can identify any potential inputs if the bot will need to go and ask me for information as the chatter. And then all I need to do is to find what the API call looks like to this endpoint. And lastly, the output. So what is actually gonna be returned from that API call that I wanna share back with my bot to figure out how to best use this information to resolve my customer question. And that's it. It can take as little as a minute to build out an action inside of our application and you're able to have this extremely natural sounding conversation with your customer. We're really excited about this release and all of the potential use cases that our clients will be leveraging with this. We expect to see so much more uh, incredible support 
conversations with customers and much higher resolution rate for our clients. So I'm really excited that we're able to launch this today. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.